Hello and welcome to another edition of the Shoebox Poet. It's me reading from my book, Finding Peace Within the Storm, available on Amazon. This book celebrates its five is five year it turns five basically on Monday. It's five years ago that I created this book, my first book. So we start with Arrow. Arrow. Arrogant. Romantic. When given a chance, I could see or I could be. Don't you see? When you shoot your arrows into my soul, do I not bleed and die? Being slain from thy aim of your arrow's mournful shot, driving its metal into my heart, twisting and turning without remorse, you gave me so many reasons. But why is it just the same that I must suffer for another day? And I had gone, well, basically this poem was created after going to the, uh, to see the uh, Shakespeare at the park, uh, at Centennial Park, and listening to, I think it was either Taming of the Shrew or um, Miss Summer Night's Dream, one or two, and they had like a different take on that play by, or that, you know, the Shakespeare play. And how they uh, brought it up to more of a, a modern uh, terminology and, and feel for things. Uh, so this poem, that poem was inspired by it. This next one's called Torn. It's all that I give. A broken heart without men. Pieces scattered among the dust. Left to wither but torn between. On the cusp of a ragged edge. I ride without a heart. For beauty is nothing. Uh, this poem was inspired by uh, the movie, well, not the movie, but the TV series Firefly. Uh, Mao made a made a, a point that we're out here on the ragged edge, and you know, to trust him. He was saying this to the doctor, basically, to trust him, but understand that that you know there are a lot of things that can that can be and go on or go awry or things they're just because they're just them out there in, in the in the void so they really don't have anybody that they can rely on this next one is called chatter taking things for granted the smell of rain and the sound of wind makes through the trees listening to the rain beat on the roof hitting the ground and feeling its soft grass feeling the rain washing over me Watching the clouds rolling by and changing colors of the trees and sound of a stream, birds, friendly voices and smiles and endless chatter. So basically this right here, this poem was inspired by uh, Lord of the Rings, um, Return of the King, where um, Sam was talking to Frodo after they ended up. Um, when they were on Mount Doom and Sam was talking about the things that happened in the Shire because they longed to be back in the Shire instead of being on that that uh, that mountainside and he told him you know he you know Sam was telling him it's like you know it's almost you know springtime so the you know the the strawberries will be will be ready to be picked you know they can be able to and had them with cream and you know and such and certain you know, and such and such things and and Frodo was like I long forgotten the taste of food the feel of gra soft grass beneath my feet all I see is the green eye of Sauron or the uh, ring of fire in my dream my waking dreams because that's basically what he sees due to the influence of the ring so, this next one's called Hard Knocks. Have you ever noticed how the clouds seem to hang a little in a dark shade of gray? Crap falls apart, that's life as it happens. Just suck it up and move it on. It's hard to understand sometimes the mindset of others, understanding my actions and results, but not, and some things just don't make sense. And it just don't make sense. And I mean, it's just life, life is life. It, it it does what it does. It lives. Um, and, you know, you hold.
hope that things, you know, you have ebbs and flows in life and things that go on, so good and bad, but um, so many times your actions actually cause problems too, and you just don't take care of them, you just let them fester. And I understand that more than you really know. Okay, so that's what's called angel. Everyone has an angel. Maybe just once in their life. Even for a moment. Or perhaps a lifetime. Someone that brings out the best in us. The one who gives us power to love again. To dare, to dream, and to believe in the impossible. That life is meaning and a purpose even in the darkest times. And I've met, and this right here is basically inspired by a friend of mine. Uh, and I understand she's, uh, who she is, my uh, my friend who is a uh, an artist, uh, Jenna, Jenna, you know. You know, and even though she, you know, sometimes things happen, and yes, she has her moments where she gets down, but she still is that person where she can be, uh, you know, you know, still trying to, talk you up to be able to help you to understand the things that you need to work on or or see be that you know see that you have a purpose and having friends like that around you showing you that you have a purpose in life you know and is is good because you have that anchor to help you this next one can you feel what i feel can you feel what i feel can you hear me when i call the fear has hurt me even when I call to you on my knees. My heart begins to breathe. Can you take away my pain and give me peace? God, can you free me? I want to be alive again and dream again without these chains to bind me. I want to feel her loving and, I, and give my heart away. Can I just be free for one day? And why can't this, this pain go away? Look in my eyes and you'll see the flicker of a flame broken and bleeding. The flame is fading. Can you pull me through? Maybe if I close my eyes, my pain will disappear, lost without your touch, moving away from without your smile. Drawing reason to hide my fears, and how could these tears be profound? And I see you standing all alone, needing someone to be your clown. And all I want to know is this all a dream. Uh, this poem right here was inspired by um, different... Uh, situations that happened in my life basically where um, where you find uh, uh, living in that, that um, in a thing where I was actually a part of a, uh, a church and stuff and trying to be and having inspiration to be able to write poetry from a perspective of a religious aspect and that's what that poem was basically about and asking you know god or jesus to take away my pain which is like the sin or the things i kept on falling into even though i really want to um get away from that and it talks about how grace is sufficient his he talks about how grace is sufficient for him for you uh, or my grace is sufficient enough for you and and that having to be that Yes, you sin, but you repent and you move on and you do, do your work to do better. Um, and that's what people forget about. It says when you repent, it says like when you, you know, grace is, grace is a thing that you get from following Christ and following God. The grace you get is that if you fall into sin, Admit it, repent, change, and do better, which is what that means. Don't continue to fall into sin and try to repent and everything. You're you're just not making yourself work. That's why people really, you know, I think people really don't understand the meaning of that thing when it talks about grace being sufficient enough. But grace is not a get out of free card or to that effect. Who am I kidding? I really don't care. Anyway, um, check out my friend Jenna Jinx Portraits and her website and the uh, wonderful poetry, well, wonderful portraits that she makes, either her fur babies or her, or, you know, family portraits and stuff she can you know, create for you. She's always open to, um, to getting commissions. Uh, check out my friends Alberta and Aria and their recce sessions and their stuff's in the bio. 
uh, my friend uh, Dwight, who started getting back into doing his uh, football stuff um, with college football uh, with the NCAA, new NCAA game, he's definitely going to start working on uh, doing certain things through that. He just won't be able to do the career mode because of certain things that his road to glory. He can't do that. Uh, check out my friend Brandon, uh, Brandon, Br uh, who is, or Braden, who is looking to do a live concert in September. He's looking to raise money for that. But if you know anybody that has equipment, like, uh, speakers or, uh, amps or something like that, uh, definitely reach out to him. His, uh, Instagram thing is, uh, definitely message him and talk to him about that or, you know, do his GoFundMe. Check out uh, the Spine Bookshop. If you're a local author, definitely uh, reach out to Lindsay Trolls through the Spine Bookshop. They have moved to a new place. They are she is looking for local authors, and so it doesn't really mean if you're local either. She has had people to who live out of state send her books to be able to put on her bookshop. She is looking for that. And if you are Arthur, uh, even a independent author and or self-published author like me or like you know, says, definitely reach out to her because that definitely you know creates an opportunity for being able to be in a bookshop. Um, so definitely do that. And again, my books are available. The link is in the this in the uh, the bottom of this post uh, or this video. Uh, definitely go in and check out my other books. Uh, 10 of my poetry books, my two children's books, and if you want a notebook, there's a couple of notebooks that I created in there too. So until next week, uh, next weekend, I hope to see you. Take care. Have a good day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, but be safe for the most part.